Good morning or good afternoon, depending on when you're watching, when you're tuning in to do your COVID science class. Welcome to, I think this is lesson four. Uh, we're working on the excretory system this week. To excrete means to get rid of. So the excretory system is about getting rid of waste. Um, now, there are a couple of different kinds of wastes that our body has to get rid of. Um, one of the kind of wastes that the body gets rid of is the solid waste that leaves the digestive system. We're going to leave that waste sort of separate and call that part of the digestive system. So your poop doesn't count in the waste that we're getting rid of today. The waste we're getting rid of today is the waste that accumulates in your bloodstream. Now, in your circulatory system, your body brings blood to cells that are working, cells that are burning energy. And just like your car, when your body burns energy, there is exhaust or waste produced. If that waste accumulates in your body, it can be dangerous. It can be toxic. So there has to be a filter in the bloodstream somewhere that cleans that waste out of the circulatory system. And there are two filters we're going to look at in the excretory system that take care of those wastes. Excretion means to get rid of or remove. If we're thinking about our body system, it's the system responsible for getting rid of all your wastes. Again, like I said, those are wastes that accumulate in your circulatory system. Here are the structures we're going to look at. Uh, click and reveal doesn't work, but we're going to look at the liver and the filtering it does. We're going to look at the kidney, the filtering it does. Ureters and urethra, they're the tubes that get rid of the waste. Yes, your skin is an important part of the excretory system as well. And then the bladder stores this liquid waste until we have a chance to remove it. So here's what the kidneys look like. The kidneys look like, well, kidney beans. They're kidney shaped. And there's an artery that goes into the kidney and a vein that comes out. So a rich blood supply going into the kidneys. All of the blood in your whole body goes through your kidneys several times a day. And the kidney is just a giant filter that allows most of the blood to go through the filter and back into the circulatory system. And through a magical process of diffusion, primarily salt and some water, those are the wastes that are, that are excreted here. Salt, water, and a couple of other wastes are collected by the kidneys and drained into the bladder. The main filtering unit, so if you look at tiny individual cells, the main filtering unit of the kidneys are called nephrons. These microscopic units remove wastes from the blood to produce urine. The clean and filtered blood returns to the blood vessel to continue circulation. So if we zoom in even more, at the kidney and we look at one of the individual filtering units, we see unfiltered blood going in from an artery. Remember this is A for away, it's leaving the heart, meaning it's going into the kidney. And then it's a vein coming out of the kidney because this vein will be headed back to the heart. Now, eventually, that artery breaks down into these tiny capillaries, so it's one more place in the body where we see capillaries exchange material with the cells around them, really tiny blood vessels. Now, in this capillary, the blood cells, red blood cells, white blood cells, they can't leave the blood vessel, but tiny um, ions small particles of dissolved salt and other stuff will diffuse out of this blood vessel into 
this tubule. And as the tubule travels down the loop, some of that water is reabsorbed so that the waste becomes a little more concentrated and we keep more of that water inside our body. So it's a fairly concentrated salt solution by the time it turns into urine and starts draining down one of the collecting tubes. Those collecting tubes are called ureters. There's one ureter leaving from each kidney and really simple. The tube collects the waste from the kidney and dumps it into the bladder. Now, I'm going to go back to the screen. When, for whatever reason, too much water is absorbed, well, I think you know what salt water leaves behind if all of the water evaporates. It leaves crystals of salt. One complication with kidneys, you might have heard of kidney stones, where this salt solution, too much water is reabsorbed, and it actually leaves solid crystals of salt trying to force their way through these tiny tubules. Extremely painful um, until that kidney stone finally passes into larger vessels leaving the kidneys. Um, so yeah, kidney stones can be extremely painful um, until they finally pass out of the body. And you can imagine that last part passing out of the body that's no picnic either so eventually those salt crystals if it's a kidney stone have to pass through the ureter into the bladder and then the most painful part they have to leave the bladder is just a balloon like structure that collects urine until you have a chance to empty it it's a muscle lined balloon um, and those muscles uh, as they're stretched, they send a stimulus or a message to your brain saying, um, gotta pee. So as those muscles stretch, they send the signal, you gotta go to the bathroom. And then when it's time to relieve yourself, those muscles contract to help push that urine out of the bladder. The urethra is the tube that leaves the bladder and leaves your body. This tube connects the bladder with the outside world. We're going to take a quick look at Tim and Moby's version of what I just said. Let's go around that. Let's try that again. Dear Tim and Moby, how does the urinary system work? From Min. The urinary system is one part of your body's excretory system, the parts of your body that remove waste products. Well, the processes that keep us alive, like eating, breathing, and drinking, also create poisons in our bodies. The urinary system removes a poison called urea from the bloodstream. It also gets rid of any extra water and salts you don't need. All of this stuff is carried by the blood to the kidneys, two organs in your lower back. The kidneys are about the size of a fist, and they're shaped like uh, kidney beans. Or a kidney swimming pool. Right, what I'm saying is they're kidney-shaped. Anyway, inside the kidneys, little filters called nephrons take all the urea and other unwanted stuff out of your blood. Right, that's all urine is. Water, urea, and salts that your body doesn't need. From the kidneys, urine travels down little tubes called ureters and is emptied into the bladder. The kidneys send a little bit of urine to the bladder every 10 or 15 seconds. The bladder is shaped like a balloon, and that's actually how it acts, too. As it receives more urine, it blows up into a round shape. Circular muscles called sphincters keep the urine from leaking out of the bladder's opening. Meanwhile, nerves in the bladder send signals to your brain telling you that you need to go to the bathroom. The more the muscular bladder fills up, the more intense the nerve signals get and the more uncomfortable you become. And eventually, the bladder explodes. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. A healthy bladder can comfortably hold about 16 ounces of urine for a few hours. 
When you want to go, your brain sends signals to the bladder, telling it to squeeze, and signals to the sphincters, telling them to relax. Urine leaves the bladder through a tube called the urethra. That leads to the outside world. Bad dog, go away. So thanks Tim and Moby for that uh, for that contribution, and thanks Clark Webster Elementary School for posting your brain pop password online. Um, there's another important part of our excretory system. Now you may have noticed that your salt, your sweat tastes salty. Um, and and that's because the filter in your skin that removes water to help you cool down when you work out works very much the same way as the filter in your kidneys. This filter right here takes salt out of the bloodstream to remove it from the body. And this filter right here in your skin does much the same thing. In fact, chemically, urine and sweat are very, very similar solutions. They're made up of almost the same stuff. Um, so sweat is another way that your body gets rid of that waste. Now, the added bonus of this skin filter is that it also serves the function of keeping you cool. The liver is one more important filter that we've talked about before as part of the digestive system. The body is incredibly adept at recycling, using material more than once. The liver filters out, among other things, dead red blood cells and alcohol. Both of those things are filtered through the liver and I don't know if you remember in the digestive system video, you can go back and take another look at that. The liver dumps the waste that it filters out into the gallbladder, a little tiny balloon right underneath the liver. That gallbladder stores the waste that the liver filters out and dumps it into the digestive system. Well, here's the awesome part of the recycling that the liver does. The liver filters out dead red blood cells. One of the byproducts of filtering out dead red blood cells is a chemical called bilirubin. Bilirubin, when it's broken down inside the liver, actually turns into bile. It's a salt that the body dumps into the small intestine to help digest fat. So it's pretty cool that the liver filters out garbage, filters out waste, filters out um, toxins and dead red blood cells, and then uses that garbage to help in your digestive system. So the bilirubin that it filters out of the dead red blood cells, it turns into bile, which we need in our digestive system to help break down the salt. That's what the liver does. Some other things that go wrong, kidney or renal, we'll hear the term renal and it, I think that comes from the Latin medical um, term for kidney. Anything renal refers to kidneys. The renal artery is the artery that goes into the kidney. The renal vein is the vein leaving the kidney. Renal failure is when your kidneys fail. In some cases, kidney or renal failure can be caused by drug abuse. Individuals who experience kidney failure are at a serious risk of illness and death. It's a little bit like breathing the exhaust from the back of the car. Well, it can be poisonous. It can kill you. Well, if the exhaust from your cells burning fuel piles up in your body, it can be very destructive and dangerous as well. So if your kidneys or these filters stop working, it can be very dangerous. We have medical technology that can help us with this filter. It's called dialysis. Kidney dialysis is the process of using a machine to remove that waste for you. So in a process of about four to six hours, 
Now this process has to be repeated about three times a week. Um, a patient can sit with a kidney dialysis machine hooked up to their arm. The blood leaves their body, goes through the machine, it's filtered into waste, and the blood returns to the patient's body. Okay, it works, but you can imagine how it will change your life when you actually can't go out and play after school. You actually can't go home and play video games. You have to be at the hospital in this chair four to six hours, three times a week. That's a lot of time that you have to dedicate to this machine that does the job of your kidneys. So the take home message here, don't do drugs. You don't want to end up on kidney dialysis or worse, dead. Um, that's our section on kidneys. Now I'm hoping you've filled in the notes. You can scroll back in the video and watch it again if you've got blanks. Um, and another day on our calendar, you'll have time to work through those assessment questions and you can watch the video again then. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.